What's up YouTube? This week I want to show you how to 3D print ABS filament on an open frame 3D printer. I'm doing this video because I'm fairly new to 3D printing and had a lot of difficulty on finding the right settings and techniques on how to do that. So I hope that this video helps you all out. Okay, so I use the Creality Slicer that comes with the Ender 3 and the first thing we're going to do is go to the top of the screen and we're going to click on expert then we're going to click on switch to full settings for the layer height we'll do 0 0.25 shell thickness 1.2 we're going to check the enable retraction box bottom top thickness is 1 fill density percentage 25 print speed 60 Printing temperature 230 degrees Celsius. The bed temperature 110 degrees Celsius. Support type for this we'll use everywhere and we'll use a raft for platform adhesion. The filament diameter is 1.75 and the flow percentage is 100. The nozzle size is 0.4. For advanced settings, we'll put the retraction speed to 10, distance 1.5, initial layer thickness 0, initial layer line width 110, cutoff object bottom 0, 0.0, dull extrusion overlap 0, 0.15, travel speed 150, Bottom layer speed, 30. Infill speed, 0, 0.0. Top bottom speed, 40. Outer shell speed, 40. Inner shell speed, 0. Minimal layer time, 20. And we're going to turn off the cooling fan. This design is an Ender 3 bed handle. And now I'm just going to lay it flat because I feel like it has less of a chance of knocking over or messing up this way. And now we're ready to print. Key factors in how well your ABS prints come out is the leveling, the bed adhesion, and the enclosure. You want to make sure that your bed is perfectly leveled. Another big factor is the type of filament that you use. This specific filament that I am using is a non-brand ABS, which I'm pretty sure is recycled, which I purchased in bulk from eBay, and I have encountered so many warping and stringing issues with it. I know that it's just the type of filament that I'm using because I ran through a whole spool of Hatchbox ABS with no problems. But by doing everything instructed in this video, I have been able to do some very good prints. Also different brands of filament usually have a different bed and nozzle temperature and should be printed according to their recommendations. Next is bed adhesion. With name brand ABS I only needed very thin layers of Elmer's school glue stick but with this non branded filament I have to use a lot. I will post a video I recently seen of a mixture of acetone and leftover scraps of filament that is said to have very good results. As for me, I have had good results with glue stick. The last thing you need to do when printing ABS with the open frame 3D printer is use a enclosure. There are plenty of videos on how to make your own or you can purchase them online or you can be like me and just put a garbage bag over it. Just make sure to not let any air inside if you don't want to experience bad warping from the cold air. I hope everyone has found this video helpful and if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment.